welcome to the next session of answers apdl tutorials in this session we are solving a numerical of heat transfer analysis we are using thermal analysis of apdl this is the numerical that we are solving i have already solved this numerical using answers workbench tutorial and by using this formula you can get this answer as you can see in bold so we'll just read the numerical the inner surface of a plain brick wall is at 60 degrees celsius and the outer surface is at 35 degrees celsius calculate the rate of heat transfer per meter square of surface area of the wall which is 220 mm thick the thermal conductivity of the brick is 0.51 watt per meter degree celsius so we will start with preferences thermal okay preprocessor element type add edit delete and i'll choose link 3d conduction 33 okay close then i'll go to real constants add edit delete add this is a type 1 link 33 which we have just created that is what we have to choose the real constant set number is 1 because we have only created one element and the area is not given in this question so i'm assuming as 1 meter square okay close next i'll go to material properties material models this is the first material that i am creating i'll choose thermal conductivity isotropic the value of k given is 0.51 okay then i'll go to modeling create key points in active cs the first point is at 000 and the second value is going to take the thickness value here now so i'll take 0.22 because it was 220 mm so i'm taking in meter okay next i'll go to lines lines straight line i'll click on both the points okay this is done next i'll go to meshing size control manual size for line all lines the number of element divisions that i'm giving is 10 Okay. Next, I'll go to mesh line, pick all. So the meshing is done. Then I'll have to apply the load. That is the temperature here. So I'll go to loads, define loads, apply thermal temperature on key points. On this key point, that is one end, the temperature is 60 degree Celsius. and on the other end i am going to apply the temperature as 35 degree celsius okay i'll go to plot controls style size and shape this will help me see the element display of element okay okay so this is how it looks like you can see here now this is done so i'll go to solution solve current ls okay solution is done so i'll close it then i'll go to general post processing to see my results i'll go to plot results contour plot nodal solution degree of freedom solution nodal temperature this will help me see the temperature change over this element so this is one variation of temperature that i see now here this length is actually very small it is 0.22 that is the thickness that you are seeing and this length is quite greater because it is 1 meter square if you recollect i have assumed the value so obviously this looks as if this is larger this is 0.22 meter next i'll go to nodal solution thermal flux now i want to see the thermal flux along this axis x so i'll click on x axis okay so this is the value that i can see 57.95 now you can check this value here it is exact value that i obtained by theory so this proves the answer is correct if you want you can also go to list results nodal solution 
degree of freedom nodal temperature okay so here you can get the different values of temperature over the entire thickness if you want you can get the temperature flux thermal flux but the value is same that is at inlet and exit hence you will get this kind of a no data is available for the selected model or data location specifications the reason is the value is same from start to end as you can see here it is 57.95 so this is how you solve this numerical using answers apdl i hope you have understood the procedure for solving the numerical if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos see you in the next session thank you